Hey everybody, welcome back to Black Arrow Gaming. I'm Bob, and I'm here with Joel, and we are on the third episode, I think, of our um, our Planetfall series, our co-op series. We're just gonna keep on going. Yeah, and I was just about to kill you. Oh, die! Dang it, Joel. We talked about this. Die, die, die! No. You're supposed to be. I friends. forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about how we're not supposed to kill each other. <laughs> it's Age of Wonders. We never work together. Well, that was true for many years. <laughs> <laughs> for many a year. And then the online multiplayer fun. gaming happened. <laughs> <laughs> and that changed everything. All right. These bugs are cannon fodder for me. I can slaughter these guys. Yeah, it should be too tough. All right, everybody, let's have a party. Operations ready. They're just gonna sit there, so uh, we're just gonna shoot at them. <laughs> Get over here. You're just gonna miss. Yeah, you know what? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I wanna move this guy right here. Let's set up some Overwatch. I haven't really used that much so far. I probably should. Come on, charge right in, bugs. <laughs> I promise nothing bad will probably happen. All right, let's see what happens. Critical hit, critical hit, critical hit. Oh, they're gonna hide behind the cover and miss get wrecked. Alright. No line of sight, but that's okay. Does my commander have overwatch? Yes, she does. I, I always forget to use that on her. Now is probably not a great time. Oh wait, does that require that requires a certain number of action points, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Overwatch, Overwatch. Everyone Everybody go Overwatch. Get into the Overwatch. They gotta charge us eventually. Or they'll do that. <laughs> Just <t> <laughs> <laughs> He triggered Overwatch from two different guys, I think. <laughs> oh, your men are just like blowing them up. Yep. Oh, I love these guys. All right, now they can heal themselves, and the little robot can probably heal somebody. Nope, they're all at full health. Why? Why is my line of sight obscured? Oh, it's in defense mode. Well, we can do something about that too. Mm. So much for defense mode. Now it's not in defense mode. Now it's almost dead. See you now later. it's dead. <laughs> hey, I can upgrade my commander again. All right. Yeah, give him a bigger gun. Uh, hey, wait, what's this? A lone Paragon unit is found slumped and weakened next to the stash. Tells you the union left him to rot, and he would gladly join you if you gave him the implants he believes are inside the stash. Kill him. Yeah. He might be working with the assassins. <laughs> oh, he is not one of them. He can help us. <laughs> he must help us. Uh, oh, cool. He's got shield charge and a shock spear and, like, a big shield. He's a tier two unit. No, that's a good one. I'm uh, I'm gonna, yeah, he's Keep more than welcome to hang around with me. Very welcome to hang out with Bob. All right, we're gonna split some guys up here. He gets to go in the leader's army. <laughs> Speaking of her, I can give her some really good sniper perks now. Let's see, hmm. void bullets. That is a good one. Steady aim is a good one. And dig in is a good one. Because it, it works well with cover. Because it digs in. Yep. Let's dig a little deeper. All right. 
Manual combat. Let's try out this new guy. Where are we at? Like, this is, oh, <laughs> Arctic wetlands. Okay, I think I can walk through the water though. Yeah. The water counts as lightly obscured tall growth. I guess. <laughs> Weird. I don't know. I don't know why that is that way, but okay. All right, you go there. I like. Oh man! I, oh look at his armor. He's actually got pretty good armor. He's got two shields huh. and two armor. I guess he has a tier two unit, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah. I think he'll make a fine addition to the team. Or a uh, other space marine over here is gonna get kicked out. <laughs> he you can go hang walk. out with my other oh, hero. All right, so you've got Overwatch. I've got a sniper rifle. Who's gonna win? <laughs> um, not that guy. They can sit there all day if they want. Set up Overwatch for everybody, and here we go. Oh, they scanned my marines. Uh-oh. Oh, they blinded a couple of them. All right, so. Who's blind? That's a good... <laughs> Which one of you guys is blind? Okay, that guy's blind. That guy's blind. Uh, is my leader? No, she resisted, thank goodness. All right. What are my options here? Shield shield charge, the unit charges the unit, knocking back its target, taking its place. It staggers, it's melee, it only affects ground. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I don't know if I want to use it yet though. Enemy neutralized. Unfortunately, the pug does not heal status effects. The uh, the syndicate's healer does, which is really good. <laughs> that is good. It blew up all my bushes. Dunk on it. You know what? Go get that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Bash him with the shield. Like Captain America. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I have Captain America on my team. And I <laughs> guess I guess my leader is probably, uh, I don't know, Hawkeye, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. We're building the Avengers. <laughs> yeah, the Avengers. And they've teamed up with some crazy dwarf guy who constantly threatens them with a the lightsaber. They teamed up with the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> your, your big <laughs> mech. It's the Dude, more like, it's more like the Incredible Bulk. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> just a massive unit. Uh, I want to heal you. Not really that necessary, but... Hmm. I don't think mm -hmm. they actually healed anything. Even blind, they're still doing pretty good. <laughs> oh, wait, that was a 10% <laughs> chance. I probably shouldn't have attempted they're, that. They're doing pretty good. Miss, miss, miss. Hello. Oh, Ooh, I like dead. those guys. So dead. That was a single flank attack. Yeah, it was. Cool. All right. I'm gonna upgrade him to get nanite injectors too. I could probably do the same to my robot, but I don't know if it's worth it on him because he's got healing as it is. Eh, it could offset his psionic resistance though. The only thing is like, okay, so healing your, uh, healing, what am I trying to say? Like healing your robot, Yeah. Can't it can't heal itself. 
No. Wait, can it? I don't remember. Biology. You might be able to get a mod that does that, but okay. I can't upgrade him or use any ability that he norm you know normal abilities. No, can't heal himself. Maybe it is worth it then. The thing I'm trying to decide is like I could build another colonizer, but it takes thirty cosmite to do that. So I'm thinking mm. maybe I want to save my Cosmite for another colony instead of upgrading these units. <laughs> I'm going to have a city that can get Cosmite faster soon, though. So. Yeah, need that desperately. Oh, that's considered a mountain tile. Okay. All right, buddy, you can head back. Oh wait, that's actually a settlement that I can meet. Hey, I have 45 influence. I think I can just bring them into my territory. Bring them in. They're Vanguard too. Okay, uh, I just got a new settlement. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Cool. I'm gonna have three of them on the next turn. Hmm. Oh, I just I can one. buy I can buy a mod that's amazing for my mech. Eventually, what does it do? It's called Smart Rounds, and it ignores cover uh, when the unit's behind something. Oh, that's a and, really good for you. And it gives them twenty percent extra damage. <laughs> How long does I'll it take before you can get it? Um, I need 50 influence, and I have to befriend the Paragons, which I'm already doing. So I gotta, I gotta do some more stuff for them, and then I can buy it. And I'm totally gonna do that. And it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's just gonna tear up. I think I... I'm confused. Oh, wait, no, okay, those are my two active quests. All right. He's already tearing up, though. Like, it's, yeah, it's that like, morale boost. Like, what you figured out to do do with the morale right. is so good. Yeah, yeah, you just get one of them, give him the morale boost, and just hope you get it. And he, he gets it pretty often. And it's a ton of fun to watch him just own one unit for in one turn and just destroy him. <laughs> it's great. Oh, I'm one space away. All right, mm. fine. That actually could be kind of a tough battle. Do it Maybe. anyway. I got a couple tier twos. I think I might bring in my extra soldier for that one, just in case. All um, right. Big battle. My robot friends really are big, demanding but... energy from me. Yeah, I hate it when they make demands. Yeah, but it does let you improve your relationship with them, so that's pretty but cool. But it's I guess. my resources. They don't get to have my resources. Oh, well, so I'm going gonna... it. I guess I'm just a pushover then cuz I'm going to give it to them. <laughs> I got it. I've got I plenty it. of energy though. Like that doesn't seem to be a problem for yeah, me. Yeah, I guess right I guess now. Well, I I befriended the plants one time and they kept asking for cosmite. Oh. I was like, "Really?" Like, come on! <laughs> I was kind of mad, because I, I needed that stuff, and they kept asking for it. Yeah, I'm going to get my supply of Cosmite building as soon as I can. <laughs> it's so important. Cosmite is, is invaluable. All right, what should I do here? Nothing too dangerous. Let's just do whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Like that one guy called Whateverhead. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Did you? Yeah, I forgot about him. On YouTube. He's on YouTube. <laughs> he does whatever. <laughs> Prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Make sure you turn the dwarves because you don't want to get flanked. We'll do something like this. 
It's just so imposing, just standing there, like, I dare you to come <laughs> over here. It's like he's motivated in, in Overwatch mode. It's like, come on, yeah, you, you, you're all melee attacks? Okay, sure. I got this. <laughs> yeah, melee hurt. units in this game, in the right situation, can be really powerful. Oh, yeah, they can. But getting them into the right situation can be very tricky. Yeah. Because the game's so focused on range damage. Oh, yes. wow. Oh, Goodbye. Dead. <laughs> All right, he does a shield bash. Truly, I really like it. I like they do a shield bash whenever they get hit. All uh, right, let's get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a beast. <laughs> Love this so much. I like All right. It's kind of the cool thing about this game so far, though. Like, you and I are doing, like, completely different tactics. Yeah. But both of them are really good if you yeah. use them correctly. Right. It's like trying to put a lot of thought into the tactics of each, you know, uh, class. Mm -hmm. So your play style, even though it's really different, can be super effective. Devar is all about huge firepower and trying to manage RNG in your favor. And kind yeah. of some tough defense. Yeah, and, and defensive uh, capabilities, which I really like. I think this is a really cool strategy. I can't hit anyone from there, no. Oh, he doesn't have the mod yet. Oh, no, he don't. I got to put the mod on him. Yep. Don't miss. Come on, get him. 90%, do that one. See ya. All right, he's gone. I wonder if flying units have any particular weaknesses. Like, is there anti-aircraft uh, units in this game? I don't know. Like, aircraft can fight other aircraft, but I don't know if there's anti-air. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't even know how you did that. Like, you killed <laughs> a flying unit with a grenade. <laughs> you threw like, a grenade you in the You pulled air. the pin and just timed the throw. Like, that's really <laughs> impressive. I, that's some Worbs 3D garbage there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I seem I, to be kind of stuck. I threw a grenade into the air. It fell on a bug I knew not where. Uh, I can't move or do anything. Punch your computer. That what should is happening? work. Punch it. Um, are Just... you able to move around the map or do anything right now? I can do stuff. Whoa, I'm talking to some lady. Okay, I'll be nice to you. Like, most of my UI elements are gone. Like, I can't... Really? Yeah, some bug. Weird. I can't interact with anything. Okay, we're back. Not sure what that was all about. That was weird. But uh, I have my UI elements back, and WASD is working again, so I can actually do stuff. What yeah, that was know? me hacking your computer. Oh. Huh. To make you lose. You, again. <laughs> Same team. I'm going to get you. <laughs> There's no alliance here. Are you kidding me? Take that. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put... I got a really cool spot for a city. It's, like, barricaded behind... I'm surprised they'll let me build it here, because there is actually an adjacent colony, but I think I can move it. Hmm. All right, well, we'll find out. Production materials. So I can produce things faster. Why can't I move onto this tile? Is it a wetlands tile? It's barren. Oh, that's a road. That's why I can move there. All right. There's a lot of rivers around me. I'm really liking this. They seem... Rivers seem good in this game. <laughs> I have a river. Oh, a research station? All right. One of these days, I'm going to find you. <laughs> I've got my prospectors going around. What color are you? I am white and red. So oh, I'm red and white. <laughs> 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 well, then I know this isn't you. Hmm. 
should have done red and yellow. Be a true Soviet uh, thing. Yeah, it's like the Russian, like Russian dwarves is, is what they sound like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are Russian. They got they got the Russian hat. And they got Russian names. Oh, and, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Who have you met? Have you met? Uh... I've I've met. Dayu Jiang of the Vanguard. Oh, okay. I've met her. Have you met uh, Mephilus the Redeemer? Nope. Okay, so my I'm, scout might be going the wrong way. I'm going to steal energy from her. Where is she in relation to you? Because I think she's east of me. She is to my to west. Oh, this guy wants to be friends. Okay. Sure he does. Uh, then he puts a grenade in your pocket. Sure, I'll compliment you back. Why not? <laughs> Everybody gets a compliment. Incoming communication. She's complimenting me too. All right. I'll return the favor. It does cost a little bit of influence to compliment people. Yeah, it does. But I'll I'll go for a friendly game. And plan to use covert operations to do dastardly things behind people's backs. Hey, that's what I do. With, the, <laughs> with these guys, anyway. I don't do that with the bugs. No, we, we pretty much have one goal. That's make lots of bug friends and eat you. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty simple. You don't want to be our friend. <laughs> hey, I got I got one of those little Wally robots that was doing critical hits. No! Maybe this one will do some criticals for you. Oh. Trespass? I don't want to trespass. I'm a nice evil dwarf. I built a maniac. city, like, in the mountains. It looks really cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, probably want to bio farm again. Where do I put my colony? I don't really have food, a lot of food in that city. You defend the base. Defend the base. Who is these guys? Is this more Vanguard? No. Wait, yeah, that's Vanguard. Ooh, there's one of their gunships. Oh, they look so cool. Uh oh. I'm gonna blow you up. Well, I could meet and talk to them and like. And they blow you up. Boom! But they're going to make me move. Because it's adjacent to another colony, but that's okay. I think it actually gives you... So if you move on to a, a colony, and like you can talk to them, you can yeah. either absorb it, or you can like have them pack their stuff up in a colonizer. Oh, then, yeah. I've done that before. That's which is really, really cool. cool. Yeah, because if you don't like where the city is, you can move it. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. So my little robot is going to be sitting in my city in the in the combat simulator. <laughs> so the robot is hooked up to a VR headset <laughs> so it can learn about fighting. <laughs> well, it's going to learn how to take out people. This doesn't really make a whole well, lot of sense. Oh, we kill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was the idea of why the movie. <laughs> well, you know what? That's our new head cannon. Three until well, the next colonists arrive. Wally right. learns how to take out freaking everybody. <laughs> Ooh. Prosthetic replacements. Yeah, we should do that before they get mad and we don't do it. Can I only build... Oh, so there's a lot of buildings that are mutually exclusive. Hmm. Oh, no, they're not mutually exclusive. They they get built on a sector, and you can only build one building of that type on a sector, so you have to choose. Right, yeah. So I have to choose between whether I want this city to grow more or whether I want the city to be able to give food to other colonies more. Hmm. Which I think I actually want the export center because... There's not a lot of other good food options around me. There's some, but they're not great. Alright. 
we'll do the export center. Do it. Well, actually, I'm going to build the agricultural exportation upgrade first. Okay, I got to blow this stuff up. Blow it up. All right, sir. You can launch this Blow battle. It up. I have to take down a Vanguard gunship. No snap. I want those. Really bad. <laughs> they look good. Can Bob's militia men take out the gunship? Find out in the next. Oh, oh wait, never mind. <laughs> In the next exciting episode of Planetfall. Okay, so there's a ramp to get up there. The stairs up front. I don't have a lot of great cover out here, though. Hmm. All right. Operations ready. Can I snipe anyone? Yes, I can hit that guy from here. That ought to get him ruffled up. You missed. It's okay. I don't need to hit the enemy to win. <laughs> I don't have to hit them to win. Come on down. He's been berserked. Well, I'm gonna unberserk him by making him die. <laughs> <laughs> You know, killing a unit is the best debuff in the game. Yep, it's a good one, that's for sure. <laughs> so his guard is up, but we can do something about that. Oh no, how unfortunate for you. Hmm. I could snipe the Viet plane, which is what I might want to do. Let's see if my men can take out this thing by themselves. Sixty-five percent chance. I don't know if I want to go for that. Do it. You must trust in the RNG, Bob. I don't. Trust in <laughs> the numbers. Not after that battle with all those dumb automatons. <laughs> you only had like maybe a ten percent chance to get that. Enemy neutralized. Hmm, this guy is good armor, so I think I could probably send him up without being too worried. I'm gonna try to damage the plane. You damaged it. I did. You sh- yeah, I'm gonna trust the RNG. Alright, good. Yeah! <laughs> Told you! And you go here, guard that guy. That's a missile. Whoa, missiles. Time to blow up some vehicles. Okay, that thing can heal itself. Hmm. The, the rules for what can heal what is different for like every unit. Guess it is. I love these nanite injectors, it's so nice. <laughs> that is nice, my goodness. Oh, there's a thing in there. There's a thing! What is What is that? Wait, it's in a... Wait, what? Eff effigy. What? What does an effigy do? I don't know. Uh, it, if I highlight it, has, it, it says... It has one health. It's, it's technically a skirmisher. It... Target friendly unit gains increased damage. I think it can. I think it can buff friendly units. Or oh, something. you you can use it to buff. Like if it dies, you use it to buff one of your guys. Well, that's interesting. Or it, or it buffs the enemy team. I mean, you you have to kill it before it before it buffs. There you go. I actually didn't need to kill it. I guess it just died. 
<laughs> it just dies. Objective. With nobody left to buff. Yeah, I got jetpacks. Jetpacks. Jetpack jumps. Oh, it's like the guys from Command and Conquer uh, Tiberium Wars, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it is like that. Stadium Arcadium. Okay. Jetpacks and butlers. Uh, hopefully I can put it on this soldier. These soldier guys. Although, uh, but I want I want another colonizer too, really. Oh, wait. Uh, I can't put it on my soldier, guys. Who can I put it on? Put it on. That might be a hero. Yeah, that's a hero upgrade. Which means it's, I can put it on for free, and I can put it on now. Oh, I have, mm. I have multiple mods I need to put on her. Put it on. Ooh, that reminds me, I gotta put some mods on, too. Oh, that's so cool. She's just wearing it on the back. I look like like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's like a Buzz jetpack Lightyear instead of wings. Lamo. Cool. And that doesn't cost Cosmite. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, now where does my main army go next? I don't know. Probably need to go kick some butt over there. I'm gonna put Ooh. another city down there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make another city as soon as I can. Got an accuracy mod on my mech. We'll just see how good he is now. Oh, the Vanguard colonizer costs one. That's okay. I think I still think it's worth it. I think in a city here with sectors. There, 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 and maybe there. I actually really kind of want another scout down here. Mm. But having a scout is really useful for your army. Yeah. You need scouts. Because they can just, like, look around, and then you can decide where to send the slower units. Yeah. But my scout is too busy trying to find you. <laughs> uh, okay, so Sorry. what direction is... I found one of Green Cities, the, la the Vanguard lady. Um, what? I'm west of her. You're west of her? No, sorry, east. You're east? Okay. I was going to say, I'm west of her, so how will we I not don't know? know my directions. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to... Maybe I can get open borders with her. Hang on. I can do do a little diplomacy I here. I haven't really messed with it much. So. Diplomacy! We have a good relationship, so... Tell uh, her you want to see her dead. <laughs> I don't... don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell her. Oh, you can sign permanent open borders or open borders for fixed to... Okay. Ah. You can also <laughs> allow building on claimed sectors so that you don't get a diplomacy penalty when people do that. Hmm. How about a non-aggression pact and permanent open borders? Oh, she's only just met. She's not okay with changing the course of the relationship just yet. I think that actually made her a little bit less happy with me. Hmm. Well, I'll change the relationship. Hey, lady, you're gonna die! Well, fine. I can't go through her, but I'll just go around her stuff. I'm gonna find you eventually. I know generally where you are. Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to go north. I found her capital. I mean, yeah, I'm a little... I'm 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 really to her east, but I got units to the north of her, northeast of her. I'm gonna take a break in my capital, and I think make another scout. They're take a, a break. Too take useful. break. Instead of making another colonizer just yet. What is that? 
Crash Surveyor Drone, okay. A map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. <laughs> it's like Dora the Explorer. I still think, for one thing, it's funny they're making a live action movie. But for another <laughs> thing, oh, hey, I met the syndicate. Uh, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Tell them to go away. Uh, I don't really want to trade with this guy right now. What's he think of me? We're kind of neutral. Um, it's one thing because it's funny that they're making the live action movie. But it was weird watching that trailer after having seen like the other one that was up Is on it, YouTube a while ago. That was like the college humor one. Yeah, the college humor trailer <laughs> for like the Dora the Explorer action oh, that movie. Was, that was hilarious. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like, oh hey, this is actually a good idea. Let's be serious about it. I think it was, I think college humors was better. <laughs> I think it was. Spacers, why are you helping these scum? If you want to be a part of our guild, you better pick a side and stick to it. Don't be helping yeah, your enemies. You... Oh. Yeah. Well, guess what side we're picking. No. Oh. Do I want to be the friends with the spacers or the automatons? I declared war on spacers. Empire task completed. I completed the builder. Reputation is trustworthy. They're both mad at me for helping the other one. <laughs> Can't we all just get along? I guess we just have to destroy them both. Oh, what a shame. Alright. I got a soldier. Welcome to the crew. Is this something I need to clear? Crap, I ran back here and didn't need to. That's why I want to scout. Which I have now. Got another one. Uh, there's some enemy, or like marauder submarines off the coast. Fortunately, those are submarines, so I'm assuming yeah. they can't go on land. I, I don't think they can. <laughs> it's just like sprouts legs and starts walking. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's sci-fi. It makes sense. Yeah, right? you didn't think we could do this, huh? Alright, we'll go up and around this lady. Hey, I met you! Hello! Welcome! It's time to die! Oh, Where's crap. my lightsaber? Uh... Oh, I could send you a message. I could type a message to you. Die! Yep, it's your prospector. I see you. Die! 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 Now, now. I propose... Wait, what's your diplomatic relationship with everybody else right now? Um, I don't think they hate me. Okay, well, let's go ahead and sign stuff. Where are you? <laughs> so, uh, so if we, can... we have to. I how, about I... how about I become overlord? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Hang on, I'll send you some stuff. Uh, so we can do a non-aggression pact. Open borders. Uh, I guess allow building on claim sectors. And how do we share? I think we have to do this in two separate proposals. So there's one. Proposal. And then to share line of sight, we have to, like, have an alliance or something. All right, I guess I'll accept. Open borders for Nikolai. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Nikolai's fault. It's all Nikolai's fault. All right. Um, how do we do this? Negotiate. So I guess we do a defensive pact next. Then share vision. Okay, try that. Then we can both see more of the map too. Here, let me change it. You gotta, you gotta do share vision for both of them. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. There we go. Wow, a guy met me. Nice to meet you. I'm nice. Oh, another guy met me. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm nice. nice. I'm a nice guy. Now give me all your stuff. I think there's one more we gotta do. Diplomacy. Go to Joel. Negotiate. Propose alliance. And, oh, boy. oh, we can share intelligence, too? 
Really? Oh yeah, that's right. Evan and I were doing that. I don't have any intelligence. I can't show. All right, cool. So we're like full allies now, and now I can All see. All right. Now Let's I can look see at your stuff. Your stuff. Oh, so you spawned over there. Yep. <laughs> you are in the snow. Wow. It's cold. It's cold over there. Why did you pick such a garbage spot to land in? I'm trying to get my drone all the way around the world. He's like, I probably would have met you if I just kept going this way. So we are, it looks like we are on different continents. There's like yeah, some water in between. Okay. Huh. Cool. All right, now I'm going to make another colonizer. Nice. And now I can, like, when you're still taking your turn, I can go over here and see what you're doing. Yeah. Looks like you're making a... You got two sectors there. You're annexing one. Yep. I'm growing some stuff. And we're searching for stuff. Another th okay, another thing I was going to tell you this when we shared site. You can use prospectors to go to sectors and mine some resources out of the sector. You oh. can only d yeah, you can only do this once per sector. But there's no penalty to it. So it just so, gives you a little extra economic boost. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's really kind of nice. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Is that what your prospector is doing? Down yeah. here, the yeah, one by so he... Chikov, Chikov. Yep, I think he just finished that. These guys really are like Russian. Space They're the Russian people. dwarf space people. And we're like gonna take over the names. world. Akarov, Akarov, and Chikov, and Smirnov. Put a city in like a radioactive zone somewhere and call it Chernobyl. <laughs> I should. All right, do the prospecting. So they're just driving from sector to sector, grabbing extra resources. Yep. As long as nothing kills them, I can just you, do this. You have a lot of land up there to your north. I do. There's like no one up here. I could pretty much just colonize it. Wow. <laughs> it's really nice. I'm going to have a bit more of a naval country, mm. I think. Because I'm right on the water with a pretty good island to expand yeah. to. The only problem is I need to figure out how in the world do I terraform? Or can I? Like, I don't know. I would think it would be somewhere in these, like, farm-related mm -hmm. stuff. Community Wellness Center. Okay. So, if you get to Adaptive Exploitation, which is 113 turns of research off, you can get uh -huh. a colony upgrade... That gives plus one level to all sectors in volcanic climates, and it lets the colony ignore all economic penalties in volcanic sectors. Huh. So, but that's a long ways down the research. Yeah, track. it's not exactly uh, early game stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to defend a city from some bugs. Defend! I've got a hero in it, so hopefully between him and the militia I can handle it. Ooh, I got a weapon mod, but I didn't bother to look at it. <laughs> oh, speaking of, I wanted to look at mine. Increases target's units damage by 20%? Ooh, and 10% extra. Oh, my goodness. Dude. Weapon <laughs> mods are powerful, man. Dude, Especially in the early like, game. They make a big difference. Like, this is going to be incredible. <laughs> I'm just going to blow through these guys. I can get a weapon mod that increases my accuracy by 10%, adds one extra range to attacks, 
and on top of that gives me 10% more damage on all abilities. Like, Man. What? And this is like level three of research. Didn't even take <laughs> that long to get to. I'm going to get it on the next turn. Only problem is I don't have enough Cosmite to really make use of it just yet. Hmm. Those spacer guys are in the way. I'm going to have to politely ask them to go away. Well, this is going to be very interesting <laughs> next time I use this big gun. I think it's going to completely tear up whatever comes its way. So what does the mod do exactly? Um, if I Okay, so I get a standard 10% on top of 20% if I activate it. So that's 30%. Accuracy? Or weapon damage? damage? Weapon Ooh. damage. Is this on your leader with the big minigun? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a mod that reduces accuracy penalty from units in cover. And I got a mod that gives me 10% accuracy and 10% critical hit. And 10% increased damage. So that's 40% increased damage. And and 50% if, if uh, he gets the morale thing. I can't wait to see your guy fight. <laughs> This guy's going to do, like, 40 damage per hit. Oh, wait, I can actually look at your mods. Okay. Yeah, you take a look at him. It's pretty incredible what I've got on him. Still a bit RNG, but my goodness, he could take out a tier 3 in one turn. Yeah, but increasing your critical hit really helps with that. Yeah, yeah, so it's like you do the morale boost, you get the critical hit thing, and... Oh man! Is just there, are, wait, do we know for sure that the critical hit is based on morale? Um, morale increases the chance of it happening, I believe. Are we sure? I'm pretty sure. I I generally don't have it happen too often without it. Okay. And he's and he's been getting it almost once every time. Every, oh every yeah! Battle, I, I mean. can't wait to see this fight. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. He's got accuracy Whoa. buffs and damage like buffs. Fire. Oh, this is like a flame thing. So it's there's going to be like, yeah, it's a flame hazard. So we're all going to get nuked with fire in two turns, but it doesn't hurt too bad. The bugs just... have thermal weakness. <laughs> Sucks to be them. Wow, this is going to be easy. Why are they yeah. living here? Because uh, they're stupid, <laughs> I think. All right. Have some happy. You need it. <laughs> have a little happy. Just have a little happy. It's all right. Overwatch. Just let that guy stand there and just waste everything by himself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. They're probably not going to charge me, but I kind of want them to. So let's see if I can't get them a little aggroed. Hold the line. All right, get up there and hold it. I'm actually going to move you up if I can. Can I move? Yeah, I can. All right, go right here. Yeah, do that. <laughs> oh, boy. Go ahead and do that. All right. And I'm going to shoot you just because. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's just going to sit there? Uh, shoot him again. <laughs> I guess that's his only option. <laughs> Shoot him again. They're so terrified of that minigun that they would rather just <laughs> sit here. Death by a thousand needles from rail spikes. <laughs> that's what, I mean, like, if I was a evil bug thing. Dude, I'd that's be freaking I... running the other way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, this, is, this, was, this isn't worth it. I'm out. I like, all right. I like how you play this game the same way you played Age of Wonders. Like, you just keep all your units together in one massive yeah. army. That's what I do. Oh, yep, man, see, everyone's all, on fire. We're all going to burn. They won't charge me, though. <laughs> no, it's... I'm going to have to charge him. Oh, well, let's... Ah. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> they all might right. charge now that you don't have Overwatch, but, I mean, it's a yeah. little late. <laughs> all right, let's see what they'll do. Now yeah, they're gonna do it. They're just gonna get their butts kicked anyway, though. They're just, they're just burning to death. Don't forget to heal with your foreman before oh, you wrap yeah. this up. Let's heal. Let's heal the hero. 
Because he's important. Hello, bug. <laughs> well, oh I didn't get to show off the firepower, but maybe next time. That's still really cool. Yeah. All right, what do I want for my next military research? I kind of want to go for the gunships sooner rather than later, I think. The Vanguard any gunship. get any better flying units later in the game? Because that's only a um, tier two. They get some. They get some flying units. I haven't used them yet, like at all. <laughs> they get walkers. Let's see. I'm about, I'm about to get to be able to build some. I'm, I'll try them out. They can get a carrier, a drone carrier. Oh, they can. But I don't know if that's a ramjet. Not a ramjet. Oh, that's a ground unit. Okay. Maybe I it's under get a different a tree jet. somewhere. I don't know. I'm going to get an engineering core so my leader can have a shotgun, I think. Oh, right. Oh, there's so many good mods to choose from. <laughs> yeah, there are. It's like hard to decide what you actually want. It, it really is. You could do so much with it. I'm going to get engineers and then probably go straight for some gunships. Yeah, Wally, you just stay there on defense. You're doing good. You know what? He will. Oh, crap. Uh, you getting attacked? No, I'm not getting attacked, but this lady's going to come put a sector kind of in where I was thinking I might put one. If she doesn't Kick come too far, I think I'm okay with it. But if she goes... Kick her butt! Let's do it. If she stops where she is, I'm fine with it. If she doesn't, then not so much. I need to get my other colony up soon, though. Alright, well, let's do this. Why can't I see anything? Is there a hazard in this zone that's preventing me from... My unit's vision range is like one. Sometimes that happens and I forget why. It, I think it is a hazard in the area doing that. Well, kill these bugs, I guess. Kill the bugs. Oh, it's the shroud. Okay, shroud generator. Yep. Oh. Why are they up in a, like a fort? <laughs> <laughs> Bugs like forts. I guess. They all just like climbed up in there like, ah, oh, you can't get us now. Oh, wait. <laughs> we have the high ground. You. It's over, Anakin. <laughs> it's over, Anakin. Okay, so I guess these car wreckage don't blow up. It's like the new cars mm. that are still in good looking shape. Those right. are the ones that can explode. Only certain cars can explode. Oh wait, I wanted to try out my jetpack. Well, I can't now, but... I think I should have started in the snow. I am Russian dwarf after all. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes, these people are all over the place. Hmm. All right, so I can jetpack. Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh boy, let's see this. Hold on just a second. Got to decide where I want to go, but this could be really cool. She can jetpack, jump, and then still snipe. Oh, man. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's incredible. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, crap. Overwatch. Overwatch. All right. That's not okay. I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, how can I do this without hitting my own men? <laughs> I 
don't know if I can, but I can do this. Enemy annihilated. What happened to him? Is he poisoned? Yeah, he's I poisoned. Don't know. Crap. Oh, he's been poisoned. Yep. Oh, that's a melee unit, right? Okay. Well, I guess we are gonna stagger him. Here's the gun! Or the grenade. I like the grenades. <laughs> They're really good. Use the MP grenades. Attack! Okay, I got melee overwatch on him now, but I think I'm gonna just kill him. This guy's damaged at all? Nope, they're good. Enemy neutralized. And I can stagger this guy. Mm. The jetpack so has a cooldown of three turns, but that's still so good. That is good. You can get to where you want to go. I know. On difficult terrain. Just being able to move mm -hmm. and snipe is good. Yeah, you're you're a mobile sniper. It's like yeah. The Paragon all sound like zombies. <laughs> they're they're kind of like they're kind of like the assembly in a way. It's like they took some sort of age thing to where they wouldn't die. Or I don't know. I'm gonna back him off because he's not doing so good on the old health all right take cover gentlemen go ahead and hit them they have healing <laughs> oh Ah, I forget that triggers their overwatch. That's yeah, weird. it's kind of weird. Oh, it's like you nan. I, I guess it makes sense if you bend down to inject yourself with a needle thing in front of you. It's probably gonna bite you. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Like, hold on, I've just got a heal. No. Yeah, let's uh, stagger this. Thing. I, I grazed it. Dang it, that was ninety-five percent. Stupid. <laughs> he lost the ninety-five. Yep, I definitely oh, did. Man. Oh man. Uh, I should be able to kill this thing, though. Come on. <laughs> you die now. <laughs> Stupid bug would die. Oh, I killed the shroud generator. That was in that structure. Okay. Alright, I better send my army back. Oh, I can't really. I can take the road, I guess. Yeah, there's still stuff I could clear back here. Clear it. Everyone goes and gets the VR headsets. <laughs> Just sit around and play video games. And get video games, yeah. <laughs> But aren't we doing that already? Wow, this just got really meta. <laughs> I have a bunch of scouts now. This is really nice. All right. I just upgraded my watchmen on my stupid thing. Oh, I missed some resources. I need to not move that fast. There's pickups everywhere. You upgraded their watchmen? Yep. I up upgraded it, so now I get 20% accuracy when I'm in Watchman mode. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Can I hurry production still? Yeah, you can do that in this game, can't you? I want standard military infrastructure, and I want it now. It's my standard infrastructure, and I want it now. Wait a second. How do... Oh... Um, 
Colonies without standard military infrastructure still get some troops to defend them, right? I think they do. Let's see, I don't think I built any for myself. I'm going to make double sure and make some here. Whoops, no, not the advanced. But I'm going to hurry production of the standard. Pay the extra energy for it just to make double sure. Oh, I get it immediately. So I can still go on building something else. It doesn't take it down to like one turn. Oh, that's cool. Now I can annex a sector here, but I can't really reach any sectors here. Oh, well. Uh, we probably need to wrap this episode up here pretty soon, I, I think. Mm. I don't really remember how long we've been going. I've completely uh, lost track of time. I'm having too much... Go ahead and go to the next turn. But, all right. Uh, I'm having too much fun with this game. <laughs> <laughs> this game's a lot of fun. I really like this, like, the more I play it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've, I've been playing it a lot, and the more I play it, the more I like it. All right, next turn. All right, manual combat it is. Okay. Yeah, I would have had troops anyway, but now I have like more, so. Oh, there's more troops. There's technically only one guy standing on here. It's that hero. So <laughs> all this other stuff is freebies. Oh, and get them. They're all em. bugs, so just uh, overwatch get the bugs. and kick butt. I even got a, a, a robot bike, <laughs> whatever this thing is. It's it's a death robot bike because it kills things. That'll makes work. Them, makes them die. It does do that. <laughs> it can stagger stuff too, which I really like. Operations ready. You guys gotta come to me. <laughs> You're the attackers. Bring it on. Huh, I wasn't able to retaliate. All right, men. Time has come for you to prove your worth. <laughs> As this colony's militia, you must defend it with your life because no one cares about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What does the Broken Mind debuff do? I don't know. Oh, that's probably lower morale. Oh. The unit has minus one something. He can he can fumble and let's see. And I think he's weak to a few things. You know what? I'm just gonna hold ground. All right, you guys. Run him over with the bike. I don't know if that bike can ram stuff or not. I don't think it can. <laughs> just do it. But it can definitely shoot stuff. Surprise grenade! Whoa! Another surprise grenade! <laughs> <laughs> These grenades just come all over the place. What's up? Yeah, that does stagger like, and pushes them back. It's a range attack that pushes stuff back. That's really oh. cool. That's good. <laughs> That's interesting. Enemy down. I'm surprised they hit that shot. Sometimes you just gotta trust in the RNG. Uh, That's the Davar way. I should be able to finish this guy off.
They never stood a Don't chance. know how they hit that shot, but all right. <laughs> Didn't look like they had any line of sight, but the game doesn't really care about that so much. <laughs> all right, those bugs can just go buzz off. Mm -hmm. uh, they want. Uh, the Kirko don't like me. I'm going to decline that quest because they're building a sector there. All right, let's steal some money from the peoples. We'll start with the dwarf. Because he's <laughs> probably got money. You know what? I should probably get some covert operations and start using them. Oh, yeah. Successfully infiltrated. We're getting their money, boys. It's gonna oh, be mine. Is that a Cosmite stash? Yes, I got 10 Cosmite. I need some Cosmite. It might help me mod uh, my soldiers more. It's five Cosmite per mod. I can I can blow through that really fast. <laughs> I think I, I might want another Settler though. I, I feel like I'm gonna get crowded out here if I don't expand quickly, so. Probably should get another settler. In fact, I need to go north with that thing. Man, I love the Vanguard scouts. They're really nice. Hmm. Is it like that robot thing? It's, yeah, it's that little flying robot. Yeah. They can just see so far. <laughs> okay, um, I'm at the end of this turn, and we probably need to wrap the episode up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so let's go ahead and... Are you at a good stopping point? Yep. All right, we'll go, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Um, this was... Uh, this is interesting. I like I, I like how this is going. I've got <laughs> I got a new city here. I'm gonna get a new one down here soon, and hopefully a new one up north. So, trying to do some expanding. The weapon mod stuff is just fun, and I love how I have a jetpack on my sniper. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't wait to show you this gun on here. Yeah, I know. I want to see that. We'll we'll see that <laughs> in the next episode, hopefully. So, thanks so much for watching, everybody, and we'll uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>